Hi everyone, my name is Layla Corey and I'm an MS2 at the College of Medicine and I will be presenting on What do patients think about opioids? A survey of patient perceptions regarding pain control after shoulder surgery. Okay, so currently in the United States, approximately 130 people die from opioid overdose each day. And statistics show that the United States consumes approximately 80% and 95% of the world's oxycodone and hydrocodone, respectively. What else we know is that orthopedic surgeons are the third highest prescriber of opioids among healthcare professionals, and up to date, there have been no studies documented on a patient's understanding of opioids and the risk of abuse. As this is a pressing matter, our study was done to evaluate patients' perceptions of opioid medications for pain control and the use of opioids after shoulder surgery. Our study is a cross-sectional study that anonymously surveyed 85 patients who presented at a preoperative consultation with a shoulder-related complaint. Patients were excluded if they had already undergone shoulder surgery prior to the survey or if they could not read or speak English. Our survey contained 27 questions where the first section included demographics uh, and the other sections included patient perceptions of expected pain following surgery, uh, levels of understanding of opioid consumption, and we also included questions on opioid properties, appropriate use of opioids, and on storage of opioids. We then analyzed this data for trends. Our results after looking at age, gender, household income, highest level of education, race and ethnicity show that there was an even distribution of demographic variables. <clears throat> as for expected pain scores, as can be seen in figure one, the majority of patients believed that they will have their highest pain in the first 24 to 48 hours uh, after surgery and it will dissipate thereafter over the course of a month. When we surveyed patients on whether they received any information regarding opioids from their doctor, we found that only 36% report getting any information regarding opioids from their doctor, as can be seen in Figure 2. Um, as for opioid awareness questions, we found that 87.5% of patients are aware of misuse, 76% uh, believe the risk of harm to be great, however, only 55% believe that opioid abuse may lead to overdose or death. As for reported opioid consumption, we found that 13% report taking an opioid not prescribed to them, 8.5% self-report taking an opioid to get high, <clears throat> and 47% um, of patients report it would be easy for someone to get prescription opioids from a doctor, a friend, or family to get high. Uh, as can be seen in Figure 3, there is a wide distribution of responses regarding safety of opioids, and we found that 10% agree it is permissible to take more than the recommended dosage of prescription opioids if they are feeling more pain than usual. In all, our study found that uh, patients are unaware of the appropriate use of opioids, storage, and disposal, and that the majority of orthopedic surgery patients expect to have pain after surgery um, and expect to be given the necessary amount of prescriptions. This information is pertinent as understanding our patient's knowledge gap allows orthopedic surgeons to better properly counsel patients on post-operative use in pain management as well as uh, provide alternative pain management that does not include opioids after surgery. Thank you so much.